when we tell you that van life is a real thing, extremely popular here in Argentina, we mean it. They're everywhere. And so far, every license plate on every camper, except for ours, is Argentina. Oh, no, Brazil, right there. Last night, we told y'all how crowded it was when we first got down here to this little beach town. And we told you we forgot to film it and I had to do that crazy parallel parking job. Through here, there were cars on both sides of the road. The van would not have even fit. Only motos probably. I don't know how the cars got in here. And then up here where it turns to pavement, both sides of the road for a mile and a half to two miles, don't you think, Kurt? Uh, there were cars everywhere. Damn Anywhere you could park, there was a car. It was crazy. So, but of course, we waited it out. We got a little spot down there by the beach in the middle of all the locals who definitely love this place, rightfully so. But it is time, bright and early, to get out of this town and head out farther into the peninsula for the reason we came here to begin with. Yeah, and we're we're not allowed to leave the town till eight. And just so you guys know, it's seven fifty-six. <laughs> Perfect timing. All right, let's go on an adventure. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Searching for my highs You 
can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down What an epic drive into this peninsula, this protected area. Uh, maybe an hour and a half drive. We have reached the water and look at what we have right here. Hello, Magellan penguin. Hi, buddy. Oh, there's so many of them down on the beach. Oh my, they're everywhere. Hi, buddy. Oh, we found our first penguins in Argentina. We saw a few in Peru, but literally we took a boat tour to see them and only saw like six of them. And right here, there's more than a hundred. <laughs> I just got a penguin shoot poop out of his butt. Oh. All right, Kurt is setting up the tripod. We found the penguins, Curdy. I'm super excited. This is amazing. Look at them in the water. So it looks like they dig their holes, their nests, into the dirt. Oh, here's one in there. Oh, Kurt, come get this. Like a fool, I'd eat ice cream every morning. I 
call up everyone I love and drive them out to California and we'd say the things that we'd been scared to death to say till then now that I think about it He's had a battle with something. Something's tried to eat him, but he looks okay. Look at them all sunning. And their little flippers out. Oh my. So the male has a little flathead with a bump on his forehead. His beak looks a little longer. The female has a smooth head. Gelling in. This is where you can see these guys. So this is the beginning. We'll be able to see more of these as we head south, but we knew you were supposed to be able to get good and close to them here without disturbing them. So here we are. They molt, did you see that? Oh, wow. So this is a cool calendar here. You can see here, they're laying the eggs in October. They hatch in November, January, February, which is we are. Chicks leave the nest, fleeting and fledgling. They molt, annual migration, March, April. And uh, the first males arrive at their nest in August. So pretty cool. Interesting. What'd you think about that, Kurt? Oh, that was absolutely amazing. They're so close, we get out and they're right there. Right there. They nest up on top of this cliff or this hill. In those and, little dirt holes. <laughs> in those little dirt holes, they burrow. And then, so you can see them right there in their nest. And then they walk down the hill, which lot, I guess lot, is a, a couple lot. hundred feet, right? Yeah. Down the hill, and fairly steep hill. They gotta climb back up. <laughs> they walk down there and get right in the water and take a swim and flop around. It's so cool. It's really beautiful to watch. I hope we shared it good enough for you to enjoy it as much as we did. On to the next stop. Alright, we spotted a jackrabbit. So we've made it to our next stop. And there's actually a restaurant here and it looks like a family lives here. Kind of manages this area. And I think they have kitties for pets. So there's definitely a lot more sea lions within a reasonable distance here. Um, we have not spotted any elephant seals yet. We have not given up. The forest ranger lady at the park at the information center yesterday said this is where we needed to be at high tide. High tide is probably in about 20 minutes. So maybe we'll see some more activity. And if we get incredibly lucky, I mean really, really incredibly lucky, so don't get your hopes up, this is where we could possibly see an orca. During the right season, when the babies are just learning how to swim, this is where the orcas come, and beach themselves during high tide to eat the cute little baby sea lions. Couple more things. Number one, we have taken the turn. We are in new turf. We are headed to another view spot quite a ways away. And the second thing is, the road is washboard. Yes, I think the road we were just on, I think they have two motor graders that keep it kind of smooth. And that's probably in agreement with the tour ship are the cruise ship tours because as we were leaving like five buses of people from a cruise ship were coming out and this road is clearly not maintained like that one but that's okay bumpy roads don't scare us too bad oh there's some teeny tiny baby sea lions down there 
Lots of the big males. Mama sea lions. Teenager sea lions. Oh, there are some teeny tiny ones. And I think, I'm not sure yet, but I think we may have an elephant seal. Let's go see. So what we think is in this area, the darker ones, the brown ones through here, seem to have hair and they're definitely more active. The males have those big thick bushy necks that definitely have more hair and they tilt their head back, do their sunning. But then right there, there's three very lazy shiny gray ones that don't seem to have hair. Now we think those are probably female elephant seals. We were keeping an eye out for a male. We don't know if that's one in the water right behind them or not. The grown males are almost twice the size of the sea lions males. So if there was a true adult male here, I think he would stand out. But you can see that those gray ones right there, the females, are definitely much bigger than the brown females right next to them. So we think earlier today some that we saw were more female elephants. But I don't think we have yet spotted a male elephant seal because they have a funny looking scrunched up nose. I'll show you on the picture up here that they have at the lookout point. So this little area right here is pretty interesting. There's some little babies over here, and I think I caught some suckling on mama, but in any event, there's several little teeny tiny babies. And then over here, there's like three giant males, and every once in a while, they just bark at each other and then start fighting. And then they're so funny, they immediately stick their heads up in the sky like towards the sun. And so you can tell the males from the females they definitely have, they're way, way, way bigger. And they have like a big, almost like a bear head, more than a lion or a lion's mane. But anyway, they're pretty cool. And then the elephants, as Snow probably already told you, are more like smooth and shiny or bald, like a bald head. And uh, I don't think we've seen a male yet, but we've seen tons of females. And yeah, they're pretty lazy. They just kind of lay around. I much prefer the uh, sea lions, always love seeing all the nature, but the sea lions are so playful and there are a bunch of little tiny babies here, so what a cool day on the beach. It is definitely spring break for all the sea lions and elephant seals. They are loving this sun. I got the scoop on the male elephant seals. All of these elephant seals are juveniles. They do not become adult adults until they are eight years old. The adults come here, the male adults are 15 feet long. They're huge. Whoa. They come here in August and September for breeding season only. Any adults that are here now are females, but you can't we can't, with our not knowing the right knowledge, tell the difference between them and the juveniles. They come here to lose their hair. I saw then, one molting. And then they will go back out and they stay out and they go deep. They can go like to 1500 meters really? and they, they feed. So this is where they come for molting and in the fall, well, it's winter or spring here, in September, and um, they come here for breeding season and that is the only time you will see an adult male and you will know the minute you see one. That's good information because I was pointing the camera and like I was trying to get in all their faces and to be honest with you some of them just lay here so that's tough <laughs> but I was like trying to zoom in and I was like I can't tell I can't tell yeah, yeah. now I know the males why. do not grow their signature nose until they're eight years old. There you go. Now we know. I am headed back to the van 
but I wanted to show y'all why there is no epic drone footage. Not allowed. Got to protect the wildlife, guys, and we are 100% okay with that. Kurt's getting a little bit more footage. It's pretty hot out here, and I need a little half of a peanut butter sandwich or something. So I am headed to the van. Hi, Nanner. Hi. What are you doing? You look pretty chilled out. So I'm standing out here and I saw a few birds out here and I looked up and there's this little, it's, it's kind of between a rat and a squirrel without a tail, a little rabbit, some sort of little rodent, but he's up in this little tree, these sagey shrubby trees just nibbling away at the little buds. It's so cool. <laughs> Woo! What an amazing day! What an amazing few days! But we have 168 kilometers to Puerto Mandrin, which is likely where we'll stay the night, yep. supply up. We are officially out of sawdust. Yes, and that is an emergency. So tomorrow's number one priority is find more sawdust for our toilet. But here's the deal. You're going to have to come back and see us on the next episode right. to know if we're able to get the sawdust. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. <laughs> see you guys in the next episode. Cheers. Cheers. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys.